Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Tuesday, J July 19th, 2016, around 7.05 in the morning in Thorica, Massachusetts. Going to be a good sunny day out today. Low humidity, about 81. Probably the pick of the week. And also Wednesday is going to be um, good as well. A couple of degrees. More like 83, 84 degrees. Beginning Thursday, heat, humidity, return. And it could be a prolonged period. They could say it could be at least five, six days. But we'll have to see how it pans out because in the past couple of weeks like they forecast maybe four five six seven straight days of 90 plus degree heat but it all depends on factors with if it's cloudy if it's too cloudy a lot could get numerous rain showers and that brings the temperatures down some news to report the ACC is forming their own television network. It will be produced by ESPN and it's going to be debuting in August of 2019. And the Lowell Spinners beat State College by the score of 9 to 2. And that's about it on the news. My first video blog subject of the day is the top 10 best professional wrestling bookers slash writers of all time the bookers the matchmakers they like write how the storylines are going to go and some of them have had a lot of creative ideas other bookers sucked and these are the best of the best of the best and here they are number 10 on this list of the best professional wrestling bookers slash writers of all time ed ferreira ed ferreira was part of the creative team in the wwe and wcw and he did some work for tna for in the 1990s and 2000 it came from a, like a comedy background he wrote for and it was a producer of the usa series Weird Science back in the uh, early 1990s. Ed was famous for doing a parody of good old J.R. Jim Ross as Oklahoma in WCW. Julie Button! Julie Button! Julie Button! <laughs> chop! 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 <laughs> he would say that same word three times. Number nine on this list of the best professional wrestling bookers of all time, George Scott. George Scott was a longtime booker in Mid Atlantic Championship Wrestling, and in around 1983, he went to the WWE and he worked there for three years. He did a lot of great stuff for the WWE, booked the first two WrestleManias. Eventually, he went back to Mid-Atlantic Jim Crockett Promotions and the early work at WCW. Number eight on this list of the best professional wrestling bookers slash um, writers of all time, the 16-time world heavyweight champion, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo! Ric Flair was a booker in WCW in 1989 and again in 1994. He booked um, his own program with Terry Funk in 1989 which was awesome and he booked his own program with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in 1994 and he's a you know great like booker storyteller tell, with his creative ideas number seven on this list of the best professional wrestling bookers slash um, writers of all time the American Dream Dusty Rhodes Dusty Rhodes started his booking ideas in championship wrestling from Florida. Then in 1984, he went to Jim Clark Promotions, Mid Atlantic, and um, the NWA. He was known to put himself over as the booker. When he usually, when the wrestler gets the book, he wants to put himself over a lot. And he's also he was also famous for. The dusty finish. The dusty finish is this is how it goes. 
it's a title match and it's like a heel and a face and halfway th through the title match the referee gets knocked out and then while well, the heel's in control but the face um, uh, makes a comeback and then a second referee comes in and then the face pins the heel one two three and becomes a champion but the first referee gets knocked up um, wakes up and disqualifies the heel or the face voiding the tight match and it goes back the title goes back to the heel and gets the fans all pissed off the dusty finish killed uh, was one of the reasons why um, Jim Crockett promotions got killed in many cities. But Dusty was a stu uh, a stu a great booker. Number six on this list of the greatest professional wrestling bookers slash writers of all time, Gary Hart, the infamous Chicago Playboy, who was a who was a wrestling manager, but he had a creative mind as well. He was one of the top bookers of world class championship wrestling in the 1980s. He was responsible for like start. I'm booking the Free Birds versus Von Eric's feud, which turned out to be the best thing for World Class Championship Wrestling. Number five on this list of the best professional wrestling bo bookers slash writers of all time, Vince Russo. Russo. Vince w was the head writer booker for WWE during the Attitude Era. And then he went to WCW and then he booked for TNA for many years. Vince Russo was one of the creators of Shock TV for wrestling. Number four on this list of the greatest professional wrestling bookers slash writers of all time, Eddie Gilbert. Eddie Gilbert was a, was the booker for a couple of Southern wrestling promotions, including Continental and the USWA, and he did some work for... Mid South slash UWF on the create on the creative team. He was a great booker, but when things did not, not go his way for booking ideas, he would quit the promotions right on the spot. He did some booking for um, Puerto Rico for WWC, and he you know passed away very young at the age of 33. And I'm very surprised that when Eddie was alive, he didn't didn't get like a chance to be on the booking team for either WWE or WCW. He was briefly on the booking team of WCW, but you know, he was, it was part of a committee and he didn't have too much power. Number three on this list of the best professional wrestling bookers slash uh, writers of all time, Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson was known as the first intercontinental champion and one of Vince McMahon's stooges on television, but he was great at booking ideas. He created the the Royal Rumble, and he also is good on finishing matches. He's a good booker for how the match is going to finish. Number two on this list of the greatest professional wrestling bookers slash writers of all time, the owner of the WWE, Vince McMahon. He's he has final say on all booking ideas in the WWE for years. And he's probably really the, the one who oversees the booking and writing. With giving him the final stamp of approval. And number one on this list. Of the best professional wrestling bookers slash writers of all time. Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman booked ECW for when he owned it, he did a lot of innovating stuff for when he was booking ECW, like the three-way dance, triple threat match, and other great stuff Paul booked. He also was a you know, booker for um, WWE SmackDown for years. He did some great stuff booking SmackDown. And that's about it on that. Tomorrow will be the top 10 worst free agent signings Boston Red Sox history. Two more video blogs coming today. One will be about the Foreman Nesson Sports Show Sports Desk. And third and final video blog of the night will be the personality profile. Tonight's personality profile will be about former NHL player Marcus Naslin. Keep calm, everybody. 
and I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Molly Wallace from Light Up WCCO accent and nice legs. Elizabeth, that's so so stunning. She's the best. She's awesome. Amy Sweezy of uh, Wish 2 is so awesome. Baba Gibbs of ABC 11 has that sweet southern accent. In the words of Dee Patel last week, no buzz. See you later.